Welcome, my name is Olav Mjelva and I play the violin or the fiddle, I call it the fiddle. Uh, I do a lot of recordings here in my studio for uh, albums, for TV and uh, movies and computer games. And uh, the violin is not the easiest instrument to record, so uh, a good microphone really helps a lot. Today we are going to compare a couple of well-known pencil condenser mics, but they come with a very different price tag, so this will be interesting. Uh, we have the Rode NT5 versus the Shups CMC6. It's a little bit like uh, David versus Goliath, but um, who won that fight, right? The Rode NT5 was released in 2002, intended for acoustic instruments, drum overheads and live performances. And uh, the first condenser mic I bought was actually the Rode NT5 as a matched pair. You get a matched pair for less than 400 euros, which I think is a bargain. As far as I remember, uh, it was detailed, maybe a little bit on the sharp trebly side, but it's a very handy mic to have in the studio and it should work well on many sources. I actually did record a lot of fiddle with that mic, uh, but it's more than 10 years ago and after that it's just been forgotten basically. Uh, I used it for drum overheads a few years ago and uh, that works very well. So I have the most common capsule, the cardioid, but you can also buy uh, an Omni capsule. The Schoeps CMC6 is on the other side of the scale. A stereo pair will cost you around 3000 euros, depending on what capsule you go for. And uh, you can choose between 20 different capsules. This one is the MK22 capsule, which they call Open Cardioid. The Schoeps is known for sounding good and natural on most sources, and it's often used on piano, classical singers, strings, guitar, and so on. On uh, their website, shops say that the open cardio pickup pattern was introduced in 2008. It lies between the classic cardioid and the wide cardioid, achieving both a fair amount of directivity and very natural sound quality. The MK22 has become a preferred soloist and spot microphone, thus becoming an alternative to the classic MK4. Today I'm recording in mono, so you can really hear just one and one microphone. But I will do another video later focusing on different stereo techniques. Let's pick up the fiddle and play some tunes and see hear how it sounds.
I don't know what you think, but there is definitely a difference between the two mics. Right now there is nothing added to the signal. There is no EQ or reverb or anything. So what if you try adding a little bit of EQ and reverb? Maybe that will equal them out. And if you heard one of the mics without having heard the other one before, would it really make that big a difference? I don't know. It's up to you. I'm just asking the questions and playing the fiddle. Here we go. Please comment below. <laughs> 